Hi guys, in the last video I showed you how to add up and how to draw some different shapes. And this video I'm going to show you how we can use the Pathfinder tools, which are available here and in our Windows tab, um, to combine and subtract objects and make this little cookie guy that I've got over here. So to start with, and you can follow this follow along with me, is we'll just make a little circle. Doesn't matter what color it is. And to make it a perfect circle, I hold shift. Um, doesn't matter what color it is because you can change that at any time. Then what I'm going to do next is using some of the shape modes in our shape tools is I'm going to make some teeth. So some ways that I'm going to teach you some shortcuts. I'll show you a couple different ways we can do it. So I could just go along, whoop, spun that around. I could just go along and draw my teeth and then away we go. But what I want to do, I feel like I want to be a little bit more careful with my teeth. And I'm going to make, I'm going to have my big teeth in the middle and I'm going to have two little teeth on the outside. So I'll start with my little teeth, holding down shift, make it a nice circle. And then what I'm going to do is just hold down alt to make a duplicate. So you see when I hold alt there, you get a little white shadow to your cursor. And I'm, what I'll do is continue to hold alt and drag a copy out. And there we have our copy. I'll do two more. I'll do one more, sorry. And then when I'm scaling it up by dragging out the bottom corner, if I hold shift again, see how I'm scaling, I can actually just stretch it. But if I want to keep it the same shape, again, hold shift and we'll make it a little bit bigger. And this is going to be our big teeth. And again, I'll make a copy. There's our big teeth. And what I'm going to do is going to do a few things. Like let's play with that line. So when you have multiple objects open, this, these options come up. You can see here distribute objects, they're hidden under these three dots if you want to get them. If you want to get these up separately, again, window, align, and pathfinder. But when you click on one, it actually brings up these three options and you can just tap through them. So I'm going to firstly align the centers. I could align the tops, bottoms, centers. I could do it vertically as well, which will kind of stack them all together, which is not what I want, so I'm just going to undo. I'm going to align the centers, and then I want to evenly distribute those objects between centers, but I don't want gaps in my teeth, so I might just bring those closer together, and let's do that again. Let's align the centers and evenly distribute, and that looks more like a set of teeth. Don't worry about the color. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use these Pathfinder options, which also in my example are up here. The first one is we unite them, so it makes it one object, undo. If we subtract or minus front, what it's going to do is going to take all of the three layers from the first layer. It's going to minus all the front objects from what is the back object. And now when we draw, when we draw um, shapes in Illustrator, what it does is each time you draw a shape, it will draw it on top of the previous version. So even if it's not directly on top, it'll have priority and it'll be, it'll be further towards the front of your screen or closer to your face, if you will. So if I just change the colors, you can see that priority that kind of comes through and you can see there is a hierarchy. And what you can actually do is you can go right click arrange and you can send back or send forward. So control and the square braces, you can actually send it back or front if you want. But what's going to happen when we minus front, imagine that fit that one object that is, whichever one is it all the way at the back out of whatever you selected, it's going to subtract all the things from the front from that object. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that for this. We're going to unite these. So they're one shape. And then we're going to put it on top of our cookie and select those two shapes so that we're actually going that from that. We're going to minus front to take a bite out of our cookie. What we're then going to do is just quickly using the pen tool, or if you want, we're going to make some little triangles. You could use the polygon tool. And a three sided polygon is a triangle. Let's just give it a chocolate color, dark chocolate. I'm going to make some triangles, shrink it down, duplicate spin it around and there you go there's your chalk chip cookie kind of coming out okay so using the pathfinder tool which when you have multiple objects selected you can get aligning tools you can align everything up 
Um, it's really powerful to have objects aligned kind of neatly. When we talk about our elements and principles of design, it's really, really powerful to have things looking like they're actually lined up properly. Um, Pathfinder tool to unite shapes. But what we're going to do now, because that's actually multiple things, I don't want to leave my chalk chips behind. We can select the objects and go right click group, and that will group them together. And we'll get into, I'm sure, groups later on. Okay, so in the next video, I'm going to show you how to use the pen tool.